Is the smart train working? Well, that is uh, at the very heart of the biggest measure on the ballot in the North Bay come March 3rd. KPI X5's Wilson Walker on what it would mean for Measure I, what that would mean for voters, and maybe more importantly, what a no vote would mean for smart. You know, I think it's important to recognize that we're just getting started. We've only been carrying passengers for a little over two years. We're seeing great growth. We're seeing great success. After plenty of growing pain, SMART is now mostly complete. Ridership up 25% from last year. Commute hour trains mostly full. And the agency says Measure I will keep that momentum rolling. It's a simple renewal for the quarter cent sales tax that residents in Marin and Sonoma are already paying. I think they should go on a diet. They should run the thing uh, as best they can. Um, we just need to figure out if it makes sense to keep the thing going. Rich Harkness has a PhD in urban transportation. He does not think SMART helps traffic or the environment, and he opposes Measure I. Measure I gives SMART a blank check with We're talking about $1.2 billion. What are we getting out of it? Well, for SMART, I is largely about accounting for expected bond revenue that never materialized during the recession. They say a 30-year extension of the sales tax will let them restructure their debt while securing more state and federal funding. So this measure, this renewal, at no additional cost to the taxpayer, makes us more competitive to continue to pursue these grants. Well, it's 30 years of additional cost. Uh, it extends the life, but when you look at, once again, every public transit system in the world has some sort of revenue stream. There was never an understanding that after 20 years this was just going to end. This is how we pay for this system. I and other people have calculated that it takes a public subsidy of about $100 for each round trip on this thing. So Measure I will have a lot to do with your perception and maybe your expectations for SMART. I asked Rich what happens if his side is successful in stopping the tax. What it is going to do is give us more time to reevaluate their performance. What happens if you lose? Uh, if we lose, the board is going to be faced with some really difficult decisions. Uh, we might have to uh, cut services, uh, cut certain trips, uh, and then go back out to the voters after having just made those cuts. All right, think of BART, an essential but aging system, and now we are all paying for and living with the overdue upgrades that BART needs. So many of our transportation problems fit that paradigm, but here is SMART, brand new, and possibly facing some long-term challenges of its own. It's sort of a, a, a sort of a different speed of transportation question that we sure. normally run into. Yeah, uh, and there are other questions, too. Uh, a big part of the story is, is the spending, the campaign yes. spending, and specifically from one family? It is. Uh, the, the, the money that is being spent against Measure I is coming largely from one family. In fact, one person in one family, more than a million dollars. Uh, this is, as you might expect, has sort of created some controversy here. We asked the Yes campaign for a comment on that. They have talked to us. Uh, the, the woman behind the spending has not, but we